Good afternoon to all. Myself Pooja from Goldfield College of Education. Myself Dr. Umesh, Associate Professor in Goldfield College of Education, Dhali Chansa Ballabgad Faridabad. Today's our topic is use of ICT in teaching learning process. This topic belongs to the curriculum of B.A. first year, paper third and unit third. Also, it is a practical subject in B.A. first year. It may be also useful in B.A. second year also. Now, information technology. Networking of computers gave birth to information technology IT. UNESCO considered information technology as scientific, technological and engineering disciplines and management techniques used in information handling and processing their application, computers and their interaction with men and machines and associated social, economical and cultural matters. The term IT covers technologies used in the collection processing and transmission of information. It includes microelectronic and infoelectronic based technologies incorporated in many products and production process and increasingly affecting the service sector. It covers inter alias computers, electronic office equipment, telecommunication, industrial robot and computer controlled machine, electronic component and software products. The information technology leads to development of websites, government corporate sector, educational institutions, etc. started uploading the information on their websites. It provides facilities for chat, email, surfing, etc. It opens up a new source of information which is increased the limitations to of access to information. Now, information and communication technology. IT was limited only to the textual mode of transmission of information with ease and fast but the information not only in textual form but in audio video or any other media is also to be transmitted to the users thus the ICT equal to IT plus other media it has opened new avenues like online learning e-learning virtual university e-coaching e-education e-general etc Third generation mobiles are also part of ICT. The ICT being latest, it can be used both at a school and higher education level in the following areas. Teaching, testing, evaluation, development of virtual laboratory, online tutoring, development of reasoning and thinking, development of instructional material. ICT basically a study of design, development, implementation, support and management of computer based information systems particularly software applications and computer hardware. It deals with the use of electronic computers and computer software to convert, store, protect, process, transmit and securely retrieve information. Tools, equipments and support material which are to be used in information and technology are Multimedia personal computer and laptop, digital video camera, computer database and data processing mechanism, CD, ROM and DVD, teletext, video text, interactive video text, audio and video conferencing. Now the effectiveness of ICTs in education. ICTs are potentially powerful tool for extending educational opportunities both formal and non-formal to previously under, uh, undeserved constituencies scattered and rural populations groups traditionally excluded from education due to cultural or social reasons such as ethnic mi minorities, girls and women, persons with disabilities and the elderly as well as all others who for reasons of cost or because of time constraints are unable to enroll on campus. The effective of ICT in education is anytime and anywhere. That means it may be assessed 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. Second, access to remote learning resources. ICTs facilitate access to resource persons, monitors, experts, researchers, professionals, etc. all over the world. Preparation of individual for the workplace. ICTs in the classroom makes teaching and learning process effective and efficient. 
Now the advantages of ICT in education. Here are some advantages of ICT in education are easier communication with teachers, students and community. Increased knowledge of children, learning and capabilities owing to increase in learning act activity being situated in the home. ICT has significant contributory factor in raising of standards of achievement in schools. ICT to support improvements in aspects of literacy, numeracy and science and technology. Improved writing skills, grammar, presentation, spelling, word recognition and volume of work. Better data handling skills and increased ability to read, interpret and sketch graphs improvements in conceptual understanding of content of the subjects. The use of ICTs helps improve the quality of education by increasing learner motivation and engage by facilitating the acquisition of basic skills and by enhancing teacher training. ICTs such as videos, television and multimedia computer software that combine text, sound and colorful moving images can be used to provide challenging and authentic content that will engage the student in the learning process. Interactive radio likewise makes use of sound effects, songs, dramatizations, comic skits and other performance conventions to compel the student to listen and become involved in the lessons being delivered. The transmission of basic skills and concepts that are the foundation of higher order thinking skills and creativity can be facilitated by ICTs through drill and practice. ICTs have also been used to improve the quality of teacher training. Students can use ICT to find out information and to gain knowledge in several ways such as document creating using Microsoft Word or a Microsoft PowerPoint slides. Communication channels are increased through email, discussion group and chat rooms. Regular use of ICT across different curriculum subjects can have a beneficial motivational influence on students learning. Now use of computer. The computer is an electronic device that has the capacity to store, retrieve and process both qualitative and quantitative information fast and accurately. The researchers started using computers for teaching purpose which gave birth to computer state instruction CAI, computer managed instruction CMI computer-based instruction, CBI, etc. The use of computers is not only for teaching, but also for psychological testing, evaluation, database, database management, library management, etc. Use of ICT in teaching. Teaching at school as well as higher education mostly concentrates on giving information which is not the sole objective or teaching. Along with going information, the other objectives are Developing understanding and application of the concepts. Developing expressions, reasoning and thinking power. Development of judgment and decision making ability. Improving comprehension, speed and vocabulary. Developing proper study habits. Developing tolerance, risk taking capacity, scientific temper, etc. ICT provides correct information as comprehensive as possible in different formats with different examples. ICT provides online interaction facilities students and teachers can exchange their ideas and views and get clarification on any topic from different experts, participationaries, etc. ICT provides flexibility to learners which is a must for mastery learning and quality learning. On internet, many websites are available freely which may be utilized by teachers and students for understanding different concepts, improving vocabulary, developing, reasoning and thinking, etc. ICT can help in preparing students for SAT, GRE, TOEFL, T-O-E-F-L, etc. Use of ICT in remedial teaching. Once the ICT is used for diagnosis purpose, the next step is to organize remedial teaching program. The remedial teaching can be done by the teacher if some common mistakes are identified. It may not be feasible to organize remedial program for individual students. At this point, the ICT can be used for giving individual remedial program, which may be online or offline. 
द इंस्ट्रक्शनल मटीरियल इज डिजाइन स्पेसिफिकली फॉर मीटिंग द इंडिविजुअल नीड्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स एंड अपलोडेड ऑन द स्कूल वेबसाइट एंड देन द आई सी टी कैन बी यूज फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग रेमेडियल टीचिंग प्रोग्राम यूज ऑफ आई सी टी इन इवेल्युएशन द आई सी टी कैन बी मेड यूज इन इवेल्युएशन द स्टूडेंट कैन इंस्टेंटेनियसली गेट द फीडबैक अबाउट द स्टेटस ऑफ हिज अंडरस्टैंडिंग इफ द आंसर इज रॉन्ग ही वन कैन गेट द करेक्ट आंसर such test can be uploaded on the website for wider use the student and the teachers can use it to to assess their own understanding of the subject thus ict can be used to improve the quality of pre as well as in service teachers training use of ict in online tutoring it is well known fact that the students do not understand all the subjects to the same extent some students find subjects like mathematics physics english chemistry accountancy etc difficult they are being taught online in online tutoring the student stays at his home the student asks the question and teacher replies it by writing on the soft board or using powerpoint presentation it has made the academic life of many student easy all this is happening just because of ict use of ict in developing reasoning and thinking web based instruction wbi can be developed with the help of ict according to wbt information centers 1997 web based instruction wbi is an innovative approach to distance learning in which computer based training cbt is transformed by the technologies and methodologies of the world wide web www the internet and intranet wb presents content in a structured format that allowing self directed self paced instruction on any topic wb is media rich learning fully capable of evaluation adaptation and remediation all independent of computer platform the wb is effective in facilitating reasoning ability amongst people belonging to different countries and age group use of ict in developing instructional material there are many teachers who are well known for the specific subject their lectures should be digitalized and made available to all the users it will enhance the quality of instruction in the classroom it will make the teaching effective participatory and enjoyable these lectures can be uploaded on any website and students and teachers can access any lecture they like another form of digitalized lectures is e content the competent teachers can develop e content in their own area of specialization this has lots of potentiality to bring quality in teacher education the ict can be used in developing instructional material and e content thank you thank you very much kindly like and subscribe our channel the educational and spiritual consciousness thank you thank you very much Thanks a lot